a long time ago. No, not in a galaxy far, far away, but here in our own Milky Way galaxy, and even closer to home, right here in our solar system, there's an asteroid named Menu that's close enough to Earth to visit. We learned that there are thousands of asteroids in our solar system, some that can be classified as near-Earth objects. So NASA planned a close encounter with one of those objects. Let's find out more about the mission. The OSIRIS-REx mission is NASA's first asteroid sample return mission. The mission launched from Florida, spent a couple years uh, traveling to meet up with the orbit of asteroid Bennu. We get to the asteroid and we map it. Uh, we want to learn everything we can to really pick out the best sampling spot. Once we've got a spot, uh, we then drop down to the asteroid. Uh, we've got a long arm, basically looks like a, a pogo stick with a filter on the end. And we come down onto the asteroid and just basically slowly bounce off the surface. At that moment, we fire nitrogen gas, which fluidizes the regolith and gets it trapped into our uh, round uh, filter. Uh, and then that filter is stowed inside the sample return capsule uh, where it's kept safe. So this is a, a pristine sample of an asteroid, uh, something that we don't currently have in our meteorite collection. So this is really exciting. We get the sample stowed and sealed in the sample return capsule, and then we come home, which takes about two years. And we ultimately release the SRC. Uh, it survives a fiery entry through Earth's atmosphere and lands in the Utah desert. Uh, where it will be collected uh, and analyzed by scientists around the world. Okay, time for a close-up. NASA grabs a piece of an asteroid and sends it back to Earth for scientists to study. But what could they possibly learn from an asteroid? So one of the great things about asteroid Bennu is it's a primitive asteroid. And as such, because it's so old and ancient, uh, it's really a frozen time capsule from the earliest stages of the solar system we're hoping to learn uh, by the analysis of samples from Bennu uh, how the solar system formed, uh, how the planets formed, uh, how asteroids themselves formed, and the timing, uh, solar system chronology, the events that led to the formation of our solar system as we know it today. Talk about an out-of-this-world encounter. With so many asteroids to choose from, why did NASA pick Bennu? So there are several reasons why NASA chose uh, asteroid Bennu as the target for its first asteroid sample return mission. The first is it has an orbit that's very similar to the Earth, so it's, it's easy to get to. Uh, the second reason is it's large enough, so it's about 500 meters, where it's not spinning very fast. So the smaller asteroids, those less than about 140 meters, spin really fast and they're hard to sample. So Bennu, although it's spinning, it's, it's not, not a fast rotator. And then the third reason is it's a dark, carbon-rich asteroid. So we think with Bennu, we're really going to learn about not only early solar system formation, but also uh, the potential origin of the building blocks of life. So this is really an exciting time for astrobiology and asteroid science in general. The sample from Bennu will be studied by scientists for years to come, making OSIRIS-REx's seven-year mission worth the wait. Who knows? Maybe you'll get a chance to study it yourself. For Real World, I'm Bechet. See you next time.